Hey guys, it's Bree, and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my February 2021 manga reading wrap-up. Hopefully this time this manga wrap-up isn't going to be as long as the last one. I think the last one ended up being like 35 minutes of footage that I cut down to 20 minutes and I was like, geez! Okay, we are going back to like less series being talked about in a wrap-up because that was a time to edit. <laughs> Anyways, let's just jump into the manga that I'm going to be talking about today. The first manga that I read in February was Volume 1 of Aria the Masterpiece by Kozue Amano. This manga I picked up because of the manga porium on Instagram just was posting like screen caps of it to their story and like and like it just looks so good that I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this. It was on my like wish list on Amazon for probably since this first volume was released and it took me way too long to pick this up for how good that it actually was. So the story of Arya follows a girl named Akari who's moving to Mars, which has been terraformed, and there's actually a Neo-Venice now there. And she's moving to this Neo-Venice to go work as what they call an Undyne, which is basically a tour guide slash gondola driver. And Man, this first volume was so incredibly charming. Like, it was so sweet. It's about her kind of learning the ropes of becoming an Undyne, and she makes a lot of friends within this, like, Neo-Venice, and she also meets a whole bunch of other Undines or Undines in training. And honestly, this volume was just so lovely. Like, if you just want to read something that's really chill and you can come back to and just read piece by piece, this is the manga to read. It is so chill and just happy. It just makes your heart happy to read this story. This is published by Tokyo Pop, and honestly, the size of it is perfect. The actual book is very beautiful. Like, the artwork in this manga is so beautiful. I don't think I can emphasize that enough. I really like how the cover actually has like this gold text on it. It really is a masterpiece. I would highly recommend picking this up while you can. For whatever reason, certain volumes are like completely out of stock, like volume three and five. At least for me, I can't find a place to pick it up and I'm like, dang it, Tokyo Pop figure out how many <laughs> copies to publish. I just want to read the rest of Aria. But yes, I have purchased all of the other volumes in the series because I know that I'm going to love those too, except for the volumes that I couldn't get, and they will hopefully be coming in within the next month. The next manga that I read in February was Days of Love at Seagull Villa by Kodama Naoko. This is a GL or Yuri title. I decided that in 2021 I wanted to read a lot more Yuri. I had honestly been avoiding reading Yuri manga set in high school and that was basically all that was being published for a while which I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to read this mostly because I was a girl who dated another girl in high school and I felt like those relationships that were depicted in Yuri manga was like otherworldly compared to the relationship that I had, so I just felt like I couldn't relate to them. I also found that, I don't know, I just couldn't relate to the tropes, but now I'm getting back into Yuri now that they're no longer just publishing Yuri that takes place in high school, so specifically I am really enjoying reading Yuri manga about adult women, and that is Days of Love at Seagull Villa. It features a romance, or rather a budding romance in this first volume, between two adult women. So the main character in this manga, her name is Mayumi, and she was kind of broken off from an engagement by her fiancé because he like totally cheated on her with her best friend, which she's like, this is awful. And then everyone at her work found out and it was just such a bad time. Like she only had her fiance and her ex-best friend. So she was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm moving to the countryside. People are nicer there. I'm just going to go start a new life away from everything and all of this gossip and this whole horrible scenario. 
So she moves to this small town in Japan and she is going to work as a middle school teacher there, I think, or it might be a high school teacher, I can't remember. But when she goes to move there, she meets this other girl who she notices is like, she kind of looks like a delinquent. <laughs> She's like this young woman who has like bleached, dyed hair. And she finds out that this young woman is the person that she's going to be staying with at the boarding house that she's going to be living in, along with this young woman's niece, who she is raising on her own. This volume was really good. I really enjoyed it, and I would say that I'm interested in to read more of this series, although I think that it was this is going to be one of those slower paced yuri manga so like if you decide to pick up this volume just know that romantic development is gonna take a while <laughs> and you'll just have to be okay with that probably who knows maybe maybe i'll speed up in the next volume i don't know i just know that i'm probably going to be picking up the next volume the next manga that i read was another yuri manga and it is even though we're adults by Takako Shimura. Now I have read Wandering Sun by Takako Shimura and I really enjoyed that series. Sadly not all of the series got published in English. I think we only got the first nine volumes being published by... I don't even know who published it but I have like the first hardcover just behind me and then I read the rest at the library and I really enjoyed that series so I was like I'm gonna pick up this series too because I like Takako's Shimura's kind of realistic look at relationships and almost like the troubles that come with that and I think that's a great way to describe this manga in particular. This is about two adult women who are kind of starting a relationship which one of which is actually married though so it's an affair and you kind of get this secret relationship where they both kind of want to be together but they can't really be together because one of them is married and then this is causing a whole bunch of trouble within the marriage itself. It's just so interesting. This volume was amazing. I feel like I in really enjoyed this kind of more complicated relationship that was going on. It's really funny because this is like the second Yuri that I've read where it's just like one of the women is married and the other one is like, no, why did I have to fall for a married woman? And the other manga that I read was called I Love You So Much That I Hate You and that one was also very good. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend checking this out. Of course, granted that you're okay with a plotline that has an affair in it. Like, I know not everyone is, and that's totally fair. I just thought that this was a great first volume. And of course, Takako Shimura's art style is just so wonderful. I actually really love her art style. On to the next manga that I read in February. It was... Starcrossed by Junko. <laughs> I was really excited to pick up this series because I really liked Junko as a mangaka. I really liked her other series, Kiss Him Not Me, as well as her Yell works. I thought that they were all very fun. Um, her characters are usually really, really expressive, and I like her art style. It's so... it's very unique in a way, and you can always tell that something's written by Junko as a result of it. I think it's the way that she draws eyes and lips. It's very distinctive. Anyways, this manga is about a girl who is a humongous fangirl of this idol, and she goes to one of his concerts, but there's actually an accident at the concert where it happens in such a way where she jumps onto stage at last minute and they like something crashes into both of them and then they switch bodies, hence star-crossed I guess. When they come to that they switch bodies they kind of have to figure out what to do about that because now she's in the body of her idol. I swear, like, Junko loves writing girls who are, like, rabid fangirls. Like, she is crazy <laughs> to a T, just like in Kiss Him Not Me, you know, like, how the main character in that would have this, like, rabid fangirl mode. 
this girl also does too. <laughs> but the story so far is very interesting. I really do like body swap manga. I think that it's a really fun trope. It's really interesting to see what kind of shenanigans I guess happens around that and especially since she's like a really big fangirl of this idol and now she's in his body and she has to like do all of his routines and be on stage and perform but she's like i have it all memorized like no worries i'll do it <laughs> and then like sometimes she messes up anyways and the rest of the boy group has to cover for her and like they don't know what's going on either meanwhile like the idol the guy he has to be in her body and pretend to be her and like interact with her family as well as her like best friend who lives next door so very fun versed volume. I will definitely be checking out more from this series. I kind of get the feeling that I'm going to enjoy this series a lot more than Kiss Him Not Me because there are some elements in Kiss Him Not Me that I didn't like as much but so far this one is just fun and wacky and it's very prime like early 2000s shoujo type of humor though. So those were all of the volumes that were first volumes of series or one shots. Now we are moving on to manga that I read that are not first volumes so I'm gonna be way more vague about these ones but one of the volumes that I read in February was volume six of Blue Flag. Man, <laughs> Blue Flag never misses. Like it always hits and this volume really packed an emotional punch as characters are driven to the edge of their relationships with each other and you just oh something's gonna happen in the next volume and I'm not looking forward to it you can already tell that there's a lot of turmoil in these relationships and everyone's being pulled left and right we have a big confession at the very end of this series that we have been waiting for and and I need the next volume like now. I need to know what happens, but I will wait until it's published. And we also have some conflict with identity and what to do in the future. It's just such a well-written series. The struggles just feel so real. Just even like deciding what you're going to do in the future and what university and college you're gonna go to. Such a big struggle when you're in high school. So I like how this series really addresses that and shows how hard it actually is. So yeah, volume six of Blue Flag, so good. Oh, by the way, this is by Kato. Finally, the last manga that I'm going to be talking about in this wrap up is volume seven of Witch Hat Atelier by Kamone Shirohama. Now, Witch Hat Atelier is definitely one of my favorite manga series ever. <laughs> it is just so good. Every book just makes you fall more and more in love with the world. The magic system is just so fascinating. Honestly, it's just like you see the world through Coco's eyes where she loves magic and it makes you love magic too. Of course, this volume in particular was going into the backstory of one of the characters, which was really fascinating to find out about, especially since you might you find out more of their motivation for doing certain things and it kind of makes you question them whether or not they're doing the right thing right now with what they're doing. Sorry for being so vague, but like people who have read this, you'll know what I'm talking about. People who haven't read this, I'm trying not to spoil it for you. So in this volume seven, there is just a lot of conflict that is being set up and this volume was just so good. Art, perfect. Am I excited for volume eight? Absolutely. Am I gonna continue collecting? Absolutely. <laughs> like definitely, if you haven't checked out Witch Hat Atelier, definitely, definitely check it out. So that is all of the manga that I'm going to be talking about today. Let me know if you have read any of these manga series or are interested in reading any of the manga series that I have mentioned. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!